Gotta read Michael's uh, question. Yeah. I like that one. Uh, he asks um, from each. I don't like blasting names out there because um, that they see him anyways. Not post edit. Not on YouTube and oh, Spotify. Okay. Um, from uh, so we're all of different ages. Uh, what do we think about the next generation of enthusiasts slash owners coming up behind us? I'm excited because the more I guess kids we get into firearms and the more we nurture like safe firearm handling, the better that generation is going to be. Um, I feel like already this current generation of firearm ownership is very safe minded. Um, I don't know. I, I was kind of talking about this today that like not not being being unsafe with a firearm just isn't cool. Like you see fuds all the time, like mm -hmm. just flagging people and oh, they, they treat it like a loaf of bread, as Pat would say. Um, I feel like kids today are very like, no, this needs to be oriented in the right direction. Fingers are off the trigger. They're just so um, used to having that like inculcated into them where they have to follow a specific set of yeah. rules. And they're very procedurally oriented and like if the teacher says and this is kind of what we're going to do mm -hmm. for the most part so yeah i think they're more likely to like color inside the lines and do the stuff that as we as safety educate does. them to do with that safety side and they're also of that like very safety is safety -ist mindset where ev everything has to be like nerfed for them because that's kind of been their whole deal but they're also heavy into video games. So I think the so as they get older they're coming into a good knowledge base almost. Knowledge base and it's going to be like like Sarah coding and like my gun has this camo print. Or, no, it's gonna like, be weapon cool. charm. It's not you know what I mean? Right. Like weapon charms are gonna be a thing, I think. It's gonna be customizable. It's gonna exactly. every, everything's gonna be a lot more like unique to you individually. Yeah. I am very encouraged because when we were all like in school, I'm not going to say there were none, but practically speaking, there were no school, like high school level shooting teams. Yeah. Like you, you could go to your local gun club and there was probably matches you could join or whatever, but just think of how many schools now have a trap shooting team. There's tons of them around here. There's a state championship now, Like you can varsity letter in trap shooting. Right. And like that was not a thing. There's, scho when there's about, scholarships. They're yes. giving these kids scholarships. There's a TFP scholarship, yeah. right? For yeah. young school, I was almost gonna say young school <laughs> young school yeah. marksmen, yes, yeah. scholar, shooter, athletes. <laughs> I don't know the right uh we'll we'll find the right term. Um I don't believe that's, that's whatever he's saying. Uh, uh but those hard. those opportunities weren't there, and I think too for a long time there really weren't a lot of wins for the second amendment especially in new york i mean we had the assault weapons ban in 94 it rolled over that was federal 2004 like it passed in new york state then 2013 we had the safe act and then we've had like the concealed carry improvement act and there was up until say like the bruin decision there really weren't a lot of wins but even going back a little bit further, when was the Heller decision? Like 2017, maybe? I feel like 2016 or 17 at the federal level. So, like, there's just, there's been some, like, there's constantly, the Second Amendment is always under attack. But I like that there's been some wins lately, too. So, like, I feel like the younger generation sees that there's hope. That, like, oh, okay. Like, yeah, politicians are going to do what politicians do and grandstand and pass these laws that, they can pat themselves in the back and they can give a speech and like, yeah, we did something. Listen, it's the SAFE Act. Like, it makes you safer. safer. The, the Concealed Carry Improvement Act. Like, we improved it or whatever. Yeah. But they're like, no, get that get that out of here. So I think between those two things, like, I'm encouraged. I think there's more opportunities than when we were kids. So I just want to see more of that. I want that to grow. Mm -hmm. I want those of us, you know. Uh, a little more balls behind these kids. Mm -hmm. Sergey, what do you think? Exactly that. Like, there's these kids are sick of being told what to do. So, I think a little bit of that resilience meets kind of rebelliousness is a good thing. Yeah, for sure. Um, I do wholeheartedly believe that we will see the NFA abolished in our generation. Hell yeah. Just seeing how it's going, I do believe that it might not be. In the next five years, you get this guy on the Supreme Court, maybe. Yeah, right? drop a like to abolish the NFA. 
<laughs> one like equals one abolish. Like, 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 like. Um, <laughs> one like equals one abolish. I I am excited. I like Brandon was saying that we didn't have that. He was he's a little bit older than me and you, but yeah, you graduated I, fifteen. Oh, I didn't graduate. Twenty-two. I just I just no, finished no. up. Yeah. I just finished up at Brockport. I no, just last semester. I just you know, <laughs> shaka bro. I graduated, I graduated at thirteen. 13? I was 14. That Sorry, yeah, you were right. When I graduated, our local gun clubs were starting to approach the school about doing trap league and skiing, mm-hmm. stuff like yeah. that. And now it's, I feel like it's blossoming yeah. something awesome. Your alma mater is yes. doing 22 and air rifle stuff. Yes. Like, that's awesome. My my old high school, they are shooting like Olympic style air gun in the school cafeteria. Yeah. Like the audience sits in the cafeteria tables and like they push the rest of them out of the way. They have a backstop, and like those kids are shooting air guns, like Olympic style precision, in where they where they just ate lunch a few hours ago. Like it's awesome. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. I took a I took a photo of like the way you would walk in as a student to like get your into the lunch line or whatever, and like that's down. That's like that's like behind the backstop. So they close that door, and there's a sign that says like rifle range, no entrance. And it's just like. What? Like, that's so cool. Oh, that's the greatest it. food fight ever. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I don't want to keep hammering this point, <laughs> but it's becoming very popular. I mean, football has long been, you know, seen as like the sport, right? But uh, is it the is it the once and done? Is it quickly? Quickly down under our national pastime, oh, gentlemen, yeah. has always been shooting, right? And so I just love that. You know, you could have the Karenist of Karen moms, and she might herself be pretty anti, like, second, you know, nobody needs an assault weapon, any of that kind of stuff. But, like, her little precious little baby, I don't want to play in football because he's going to get a traumatic brain injury or he's going to break a mm-hmm. bone or whatever. Like, youth shooting sports is one of the safest of all activities that your kids can do. So I think that's – people, are, people are waking up to that. Yeah.